So in the last video, we made it possible to go to the next question. We also reset the styles when you get to the next question. I also added some kind of delay in between questions. So in this video, we're going to make sure that you can pick more than one answer. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add like a, a check, uh, more like a boolean that's going to be true or false. So if it's true, then we can click. If it's false, we can't click. Go up to where we have our data. Let's just add, let's say let's can click equal to true. So by default, we can select a question. So let us get to use that in the option clicked. So we want to be able to check, okay, if click is true, if can click is true, then I should be able to select an option. So I'm going to go to the option clicks function here and I'm going to set up a check. So let's say if can click, we can just say if can click, then let's say to do pick a uh, select an option then else will be we can't can't select option so what we do here let's just console log uh, can't can select question okay so what i'm going to do is since we already have all of this code here that actually does the selection we're going to carefully move that into where we have the can click is true so let's just cut all of this and then where we have if can click i'll just paste that here i can remove this to do let's save so what we're going to do is we need somewhere we can change this can click to false else it's always with true and this portion of code will always be running. This portion will not get to run at all. So where do we actually make this to be false? Now we're going to do that immediately. We select the question. We can do that immediately by saying can click. Or we can do it at the end when all of this is done. Uh, we can actually do it anyway. Let me just put it at the end before my console log. Or even before I clear the, if I go to the next question, let me see, can click, it's going to be false now. So immediately we select the question, we're going to change it to false so that it kind of like cannot select any more questions. But after changing it to false and we load the next question, this will still be false. So we need to be able to set it back to true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the... The function that actually takes care of loading, clearing the styles and loading a new question. I'm going to go there and uh, I'm going to change or rather I'm going to add can click equals to true. I want to set it to true somewhere or better still, I'm going to take that can click to true. I'm going to put it in the load questions. Okay. So when we're loading a new question, the first thing we need to do is to make can click true again. So that when we load the question, can click is true, but when we select the question, can click turns to false. So let us test that. So I'm going to quickly click on an option and then try and click on another one quickly. So I click on Java, I'm clicking on Python, not working. So this is a new question. Let's try and see if can click is now true. So let's say 140 characters, which is fine, it works. So even though it doesn't apply to the last question. What I have in mind is that when we get to the last question, when we make a selection of the last question, it kind of brings out something that hides this container. So even then we cannot be able to select more questions. So right now our code is working. We can only make one option. We can only select one option based on the questions that we have. So something else we're going to do is that we're going to set the scores to actually increase when the question is correct. And we're also gonna change this uh, bottom portion here so that it reflects the current questions and the total number of questions. So in our score, let's see, we need to create a ref of score. 
so in my data here i'm just gonna say let's call equal to ref put the zero in there and uh well, we need to put the uh, we already have current question and uh questions that are really uh, the questions the length we can use that for this portion here okay so for our score we are going to increment our score when we choose the correct answer so what we have you correct i'm just gonna say score that value equal to uh i'm just gonna increment that score the value plus 10. okay there is a neater way to do this you can just say so the neater way to do this would be to since we just want to add 10 we just say plus equal to 10. so this just takes the value of score and adds 10 since 10 is the correct uh for correct answers and then we need to bind this uh html here to whatever the score value is so I just scroll up uh, where do we have that? So we put our mustache and then we'll just say score. One more thing we need to do since we're using that in the DOM, we need to return it. Uh, so in here, I'll just add score to the list of the list of things we're returning. So you can see score at first is going to be zero. When I make a correct option, change it to 10. Let's choose the wrong one. Select 10, let's choose the correct option, then is at 20. Cool. Now the next thing we need to do is this bottom portion. Um where is it? Good. So this guys we can just change it to a mustache symbol. This should be question counter. That but no, just question counter. And here should be questions the length. Cool, so we have 3 over 3. Let me just refresh. I should say 1 over 3. And then when we go to the next question, it should say 2 over 3 and 3 over 3. Cool. So in the next video, we're going to be working on this time line so that it actually decreases. So what we'll eventually do is that when the time is up for a particular question, it goes to the next question. So see you guys in the next video.